Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again. This is Bhupesh. So today we'll be talking about the open telemetry concept, which is a very popular uh, concept of, for monitoring your applications. So yeah, before we start uh, onto this topic, please like and subscribe this channel if you've not done it. Uh, this will help us will help you to understand or get the latest videos related to Kubernetes DevOps, CI/CD monitoring, open telemetry, and so on. So yeah. So let's discuss about this concept. What is this, and why it is so becoming so popular in today's world? So you might have on the left hand side can have any kind of an application. It can be a Java .NET based or Java Node based um, uh, Node uh, JS based application that needs to be monitored properly. So what this open telemetry it it will act as a collector. So rather than sending those metrics and traces directly to your monitoring agent. So it will first of all collect the matrices and then will send to the relevant uh, the backend. It can be time series database, it can be trace database, it can be anything. So why it is so popular? Because it is you know vendor agnostic. When I when I say vendor agnostic, so it is. Uh, I mean you can easily migrate from today. Suppose you are uh, doing monitoring using Grafana or App Dynamics or Dynatrace. So tomorrow you can simply move from one uh, vendor to another vendor by simply changing the you know link. So Total collector will remain same, so application will continue sending your matrices and traces to the total collector, and collector will send to the relevant backend. Now, what additional things you can do? It you can get the infra level uh, details, also the Kubernetes API level details, or any cloud uh, related uh, matrices can also be fed to total collector, and finally it can send it to the uh, uh, to the end end result. So just to see a complete holistic picture, we'll be doing a quick you know. Installation of first of all a microservices application onto the cluster, and then we'll install a collector which will receive the matrices and traces from this app to this second section, and then uh, we'll use Jaeger for tracing for tracing the entire transaction, which will take the data from collector. Basically, this is third section, and then we'll have Prometheus for getting the matrices. Finally, Grafana for checking the dashboards. So. Yeah, this was all about theory. Let's quickly jump on to the practical implementation of it. So I've created a GitHub page for this. We'll follow that page for our today's demo. And then, you know, let, let's quickly get started to the, uh, the installation of this entire piece. So this is a readme, I'll be following the readme documentation. So specifically, I've created all these folders. And in in each and every folder, we have the relevant manifests that are needed for the installation of this entire open telemetry framework. Okay. So first of all, we need to install and configure microservices application. So this is an open telemetry app. So basically, you'll find in this folder a deployment and a service. So basically, there are a lot of endpoints that are there. Uh, those endpoints are deployed as a deployment, and the same thing is being exposed as a service. Now you will see in any any deployment file, you will see the matrices are being sent to this hotel exporter hotel endpoint. This is the one I'm talking about, the centerpiece. Okay. So first of all, the met, uh, the application will send data to the collector, and then collector will send to the Jaeger. So we'll follow the route, and then first of all, we will install the open telemetry microservices application. So I'll go to this folder after doing a you know a git clone of that repository. Okay, I'm into that folder. Now I'll create a namespace if it is not there. This is this is a brand new cluster, so hopefully, yeah, the name hotel demo has been created. Now I'll run uh, this command, which will install all the manifests which are there in the current folder. Okay, so let me see PNS. Oh, I have installed everything into the. Let me see just KNS. Let me change the. Hotel demo KGP. Oh, by default, I have installed everything into default. No problem. Let me just quickly change it to KNS default. My bad. Just give me a moment. Let me just quickly uptl delete minus F. Perfect. I don't want to install anything into the default namespace. So we will install uh, everything into the Hotel demo namespace. Okay, so KGP point is getting terminated. I 
I'll pause the video for a second. Okay, so I'm into the hotel namespace, uh, you know, namespace, and now nothing is there. So I'll run this command again, uh, and this will install everything to this namespace. Perfect. So now my microservices application should be running here, or should, it must be coming up. Yeah, it is coming up. Now I'm into this namespace. Now what this will do, it will install this microservices based application. Uh, we will first of all quickly see that application how we can you know do a quick login it is installing a, a postgres database and a kafka queue for storing this uh, data so let me just quickly see uh, the app is slowly coming up yeah it's almost up fraud detection service is let me just quickly do a get service k port forward I'll do a front end proxy 8080. So, this is the URL of your application basically. Yeah, so this is my application which is, uh, you know, already up. So, this is a reference documentation which is already, already there. You can just follow this documentation for any kind of uh, other understanding. So, my application is up. Let me just quickly do some uh, plug and play. I'm able to do some dummy orders okay so my application is up and running so now for sending this application data to a collector i need to install the open telemetry collector so i'll come back to the here okay and then i'll open telemetry collector i'll go to this folder i'm inside this folder now what this is doing it is simply installing a doing a deployment pulling an image and then it will just capture all the data which is being sent by uh, the microservices based application and ultimately it will send to the Jaeger port and all those things that will come as a third step first of all uh, it will capture the data so kubectl apply f so now this will install your collector i'll just go to the checking tab kgp yeah you can see the open telemetry collector container is getting created i can see the events yeah it is coming up Okay, my collector is up and running now. And we see the logs also for the collector. I'm just taking a little bit time to explain each and everything so that it becomes clear for understanding. So see, now there are no error in the collector logs. It is able to capture the data from the tracing, okay? Fine, so your next step is done. Now, okay, come on to the second step. Third step is now you need to install Jaeger. Now, what this Jaeger will do, it will just see the deployment file of Jaeger. It will uh, capture the data uh, and then it will push it to the Prometheus. See? So, first of all, uh, let me install Jaeger and then we'll install, you know, Prometheus uh, uh, next step. Okay. I'm into the Jaeger folder kubectl apply f the yeah. Jaeger has been installed let me see the kubectl get port it's getting created see so first of all we install application then we install collector which can send the details from application to collector and then finally we're installing in a Jaeger perfect the so Jaeger is already also installed and let us see uh, then let's install the port as a uh, Prometheus that will actually capture the matrices uh, related to all that application. So we'll go to Prometheus folder and then we'll do a kubectl plier. Now this will install uh, uh, Prometheus server onto the same namespace and then we can see the KGP. So let us see the open telemetry documentation in parallel. So we have already installed uh, the, uh, the application. Let me do a port forwarding again here. Uh, this is the front end proxy port forwarding. So 
you can see the application is up and running let me do some more hits on this application again add to cart place order continue shopping this 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 now we will just open the grafana is not installed yet so i'll just open the yeager home page let me see if there's any kind of data which is coming here yeah traces are started coming up so you can see the yeager is also installed and the traces are coming up let me see whether we have prometheus installed okay prometheus is not there but i can do a port forwarding from here so just try to understand the concept first of all we have installed an application and then collector and then Jaeger and then prometheus so let me see uh, prometheus is there or not my server is there okay port forward now let me see whether the data is coming to from the server or not then only it will go to grafana so this is the prometheus service port forwarding i'll come here okay i can do up let's see whether things are coming or not okay data is coming and the data is coming properly i can see the discovery also yeah add to targets targets fine so yeah so prometheus is also up everything is up and running <clears throat> now finally we need to install grafana to see the dashboard because that will all only make you know some significance so if you come onto the grafana folder we have a deployment file that will install you know grafana and it will have the admin user id and password and then we are having certain dashboards the predefined dashboards related to open telemetry collector that we are installing you can just simply do copy paste on that we have a secret that is nothing but admin user id admin password so this secret is used for logging to grafana and this is the config map that is used to test the grafana once it is up yeah so that is that is you know, finally the installing grafana so there is the final piece yeah so i'll come back here cd dot dot grafana and i'll do a kubectl apply okay you can ignore this uh, because the test grafana is trying to run onto the port 8080 which is already being used here let me just quickly cancel this and then i'll again run this yeah so that is fine i'll do a kgp okay grafana is starting and grafana test is just you know creating the container okay so i'll just kgp clear gp yeah and grafana is up in, forget about this test dot pod is just you know doing a hit on this uh, grafana you can simply delete this pod that is not needed for test is a testing pod fine so my grafana is already so up let me see the grafana service as we see uh, must be grafana this is the grafana service so i'll do okay port forward as we see grafana and then this fine so grafana port has been exposed as i said uh, the username is admin and the password is also admin okay i don't want to change the password now just you can ignore this piece you can simply come here you can see explore the option and then you can see the Jaeger. there are certain so traces are coming properly you can see now let's see something else uh, let's see the matrices also from prometheus we can see a lot of matrices are coming let me just open 
a one more uh, to run one query to see how many matrices are coming yeah the query that i'll run to see what kind of matrices are coming basically how many matrices per job is coming yeah so i can see yeah so all these are endpoints that have been uh, been monitored using open telemetry only and yeah so all these endpoints are nothing but your uh, application endpoint you can see card service checkout service all those things this that is the reason i want to run this piece and i want to show it to you now let's see the finally uh, the dashboards i'll click on the dashboards there are certain dashboards that we executed when we you know installed grafana so those dashboards are nothing but it is in this folder uh config map dashboard yeah these are the dashboards that have been loaded into this grafana so let's see the demo dashboard yeah we are getting some data uh the counts instance counts okay yeah we're getting some data to the batch pan processor also let's see this mother dashboard open telemetry collector yeah we have, we have started looking at some data onto the open telemetry collector dashboard also okay now open telemetry collector data flow see so you have only one instance because it is a single node um, uh, you know k3d cluster the cpu memory you can see the uh, the node graph also right and uh, you can see the other related details like this is the pure open telemetry collector dashboard and then finally see the span metric dashboard also you have so nutshell you're getting data everywhere the proper linking has done so so the reason behind this the complete demo is to we do a understanding how it works so first of all we have installed uh, application so you can see the application is sending details to this open telemetry collector which is nothing but your this hotel hotel call endpoint this and then it is sending it to 4317 if you see any deployment it's sending data to this uh, 4317 now if i come here collector this is the collector that i'm talking about this is uh, 4317 is the one grp otl otlp port okay so here the entire data is coming back and then uh, this collector is uh, sending data to Ye in a jaeger at this port 14250 if you expand this jaeger deployment file you will find this one for uh, the, uh, the zip pin host port and yeah it should be there yeah 4317 so all those ports are there and ultimately uh, it is Jaeger is also sending data to Prometheus server see this is the one and then Prometheus server is getting the data for all these endpoints and it has a config map config map is nothing but the scraping uh, thing yeah see this uh, scrape interval not scrape interval it is, it is scraping that is happening it is hand, having the namespace and the relabel configs and finally is the grafana where it is having all these final details about the dashboard and the uh, so basically what we see in a nutshell we have installed uh, how many tools the first of all the application and then the collector second third fourth fifth basically five uh, you can say five film charts of file five kind of bundled manifest we have installed so yeah i think we should wrap up this video we should not stretch it further so as a, in a summary what we have done we have understood the, with a working example what is open telemetry how we actually collect the traces from a working um, uh, microservices application and how collector is sending data to jaeger and prometheus at the same time and now we can see the data back to the grafana in terms of dashboards so i think that is for now maybe we'll have some more open telemetry use cases in future so if you have not like and subscribe please do that from here so that you can get similar kind of you know sessions in future okay i would wrap up the session now thank you for now thank you okay bye bye Thank you.